Welcome on that Sunday morning, almost afternoon, for a quick session of Gran Turismo Sport following the campaign path, uh, different GT leagues in that game, trying to accomplish it, finish it, and maybe get a platinum if I can get to level 50 before I move to GT7. Um, yeah, I'm trying to squeeze a quick one before the Formula 1 today. Uh, Formula 1, the Brazil, uh, not Brazil, uh, Barcelona race, uh, Catalonia. Okay, all ready. Let's go to professional league and it's a Lamborghini Cup time. Uh, how many races? There are nine races. <clears throat> Let's see what Lamborghinis I have. Contouch, Diablo, Veneno, Huracan, Huracan GT3, Aventador. I don't think the GT3 racing cars will be used here. The rest should be all uh, usable. One, two, three, four, five. I have. Um, I still want to get Mura, which I'm missing. I'm missing one of the Contouch models. Uh, Aventador SV, I guess, as well. What do we have? Just trying to figure out what I want to use where. That's good for uh, Veneno, I think, based on the long straights. And the rest, I didn't care that much. Let's start with the contact. I need 15 millions to get the Mura. Um, I'm not sure how competitive it is with all the other Lamborghinis on that grid. But I really want that car. Uh, it starts from the P1. We'll see how it's doing, how AI is doing in the mirror. Um, okay, so a few changes. That is Contouch. I'm assuming Contouch uh, didn't have ABS to hold of a car, but that's an assumption. I'm going to keep the ABS off. Um, yeah, it's a default setup. Sports softs. Can I change the tires? No, so those are the best available tires. Let's keep them. Uh, I'm in a disadvantage anyway, I guess, based on all the other modern Lamborghinis in that race. I could go first gear here, I guess. Oh, it doesn't give me that huge of a benefit. Should have upshifted uh, quicker. Lost some time there, but overall, not too bad. Overtook both before the braking zone here. With that right hander. the Mura, it's just behind me, now that's the Lamborghini Diablo. Is it the SV version? I think it is, with all the spoilers. What's there? Veneno. Veneno and the green one will be Huracan. And then I think Contouch, the red one. First lap, 140, not too bad. Barely slowed down enough. Oh, they're fighting there, which I'm going to use it. Misshift. Which have been very costly, but I managed somehow to white here. Oh, but he stayed behind. Okay, 19 seconds, we are on lap 2 out of 6.
officer, downhill braking sections in that game, they're much easier than any other, like, it's, it's harder to lock wheels, even though I'm without ABS, I can brake really hard, at least that's what it feels like when I'm pressing on the brake pedal. Like here is much easier to lock the wheels on straight or even on the uh, uphill. I'm thinking because I'm downhill, the weight of the car is more in the front. That's why it's harder to lock those front wheels. That's that's the only that's not that's the theory at least. Not sure how the creators of the game were thinking. Okay, lap two and that's 15 seconds. That's really good, I think. Ah, oh, that's too late for braking here. Hopefully I can stop that car in time. Oh, barely. I knew I missed the braking point. I salvaged it. Luckily, somehow. Could have been much worse. Okay, 13 seconds, we are on lap 3, and it's a quicker lap than the last one at that stage. Aventador, be gone. There we go. Huracan is the next one. No, it's also Aventador. So I'm on P6 with 9 seconds to the first one with 3 laps to go. We have the race. I was breaking a bit too early this time. Well, it's a safer option. So it's Huracan, uh, sorry, it's Aventador, Mura and another Veneno. The nine seconds. They slowed me down here a little bit, but I overtook both of them. I can focus on the P3. That's, that's, I'm losing in that section, it's, uh, it's a line and a half seconds now, almost. I have no chance with him in the pure power, obviously. But it's six seconds now. And two laps to go. Okay, he's gone, five and a half seconds. Both P2 and P1 are visible now. They're right in front of me. I'm curious what kind of cars those are. Less than five seconds. Catching up and overtaking up two different things. Okay. 
Okay, much better in the acceleration uphill here. More power in these two cars in front. One of them is Aventador. Is it Huracan, the other one? 2.2 seconds. So close now. Event other driver makes a mistake, but then he will lose all the power he has. He crashes into the Huracan. I want to be on the inside of them. Come on, driveman, you're slowing me down on the last lap. I'm sorry, I'm a bit brutal. But I guess one has to be. It's really annoying because they can slow down the corners and then can just overpower me on the straight. I knew he was braking too late. That was a strange mistake. Well, happens to all of us. I have 1.5 seconds. And that section I'm always faster than them. But because they're behind, they may have a boost now, so it's not a universal truth. Very wide here, wider than I would like to, but should be enough to win. And it was. And it's quite interesting that the car who's right behind me isn't actually a yellow car, uh, so... Another Huracan, I think. Oh no, it was Aventador. Overtook the other two yellow cars, the Aventador and the... And it was the Huracan, oh my gosh. There was, there was a lot of changes at the end. Anyway, it's a win. And it's both clean race bonus and car handicap bonus, which is great. I need these experience points and the cash. Okay, so what's next? The next is... Another fantastic truck, I think I know this one more or less. Uh, the next car to be used here is going to be... Diablo. Diablo it is. So that's another manual gearbox car, quite old. Uh, I'm not sure if Diablo ever had uh, ABS, does anyone know? I will ask Google. No, actually Diablo did not have any ABS. So, ABS off for Diablo. Uh, default, traction control off. The best tires I can have. Let's race. I won't have any car handicap bonus. Fourth gear, and we're starting. Now, I have no idea when to start braking. That was the key boat. I'm not sure if that uh, a trip out of track was enough to take my clean 
grace bonus or not. I think I know the struck a little bit. Though I remember it better the other way around. Reverse than this one. Don't push me, you idiot! So I don't feel the need for uh, traction control, after all we have a four-wheel drive car here. With a lot of power, very rodo. Eighteen seconds. Also six laps as on the previous race. I remember driving that car in black color in first need for speed. The very first need for speed from I think nineteen ninety six. Yes, I'm that old. Another Diablo here. A bottle of Titans. to lock the wheels. Have to be very careful with the braking. Aventador. seconds and it's almost the end of lap 2 he left a big gap there for me thank you very much sorry I was breaking really hard here I don't know what happened There were no consequences for him. I would feel really bad if uh, by hitting him I would push him. I doesn't like like he care that much about pushing me. He doesn't care that much about pushing me. To correct my grammar. seconds to the first one.
seems like I have to start braking before the 200 meters mark to to be safe. Actually, that this time I'm also barely slowed down enough. Oh, too fast, too fast. Those tires are squealing like crazy. That's a hurricane. No, yeah, that's us. Yeah, it is a hurricane. Wait for a moment. I revved that car really high this time. <laughs> it became really loud. Okay, so that's the end of lap 4 and I'm on P1 with a small advantage over the second. This time third gear instead of second. I'm too lazy to downshift. I didn't feel a big difference though. Nice slider, another one. But I'm not here to drift, but to race. And my advantage is not growing anymore. It stays at two seconds, which means uh, AI got a boost as soon as I overtake. First car. And the console gave me a warning that it will switch itself off or go, will go into the rest mode in 10 minutes. Need to use some buttons here on the wheel. For some reason the whole wheel operation and the gearbox operation, the shifter, is not counted as, a, as an input uh, by the console. Or at least not by an input which keeps it from going into the rest mode. So it's strange. Oh, it's a final lap, okay. So that's going to be the final gear change. 
and it's a win. With just below 2 seconds advantage, as I said. I probably didn't even have a fastest lap. Uh, I guess due to the boost, AI got the fastest lap. Mm, it's not showing here. Interesting. And yes, I lost the clean race bonus, unfortunately. Anyway. Anyway, another another one of the Lamborghini races done. So that's the second. Uh, what's the third? Willow Springs. Willow Springs. Um, I will keep that for something. Actually, what's is really fast? Uh, La Sarte, two laps. Okay, so let's do this in Veneno and be done with it. That's I think a perfect car for such a race truck. Though such a power on sports tires can be an issue, right? So we will need to do some changes. This car has all the modern systems and a puzzle's gear change. So first of all, let's enable ABS. Here we go. Um, we keep it in default, no traction control, sports soft, that's the only disadvantage for that car. Uh, brake balance, I have it in front, let's keep it like that. And let's race. My only worry is that those tires may be not good enough for the power. Okay. I feel strange to be back on puddles after such a long streak of races where I was using a uh, age shifter. White here. Oh, don't be pushy, man. Those are very expensive cars. I need to do a change here. So, my load cell is set up for uh, ABS braking, which means it's quite hard. Uh, sorry, it's set up for non ABS braking. So, as soon as I will get on the straight, I will change the settings on my wheel. Actually, those tires are not too bad. Uh, Okay, and now I can start playing with... No, not, not yet. I need to clear some of those uh, competitors' cars. Here we go. And now I can make it a bit softer. Here we go. So now we're ready for ABS braking. I have no idea when to stop braking though. I better stop doing it earlier than later. That wasn't too bad. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, guest driving, trying to guess when to break, what type, how fast I should be negotiating corners and so on. Just let I know the, the race truck, but every car is different. I'm not even sure if the second gear is better here, I think it is. That car is clearing them so quickly. What a beast. I forgot also about wrong sensitivity. I have a sensitivity set up for uh, a Formula 1500 car, which I was racing yesterday. I need to change it.
Here we go. Now I have a proper sensitivity set up. I had it on 540 degrees, went back to automat automatic, which means the game will pick up the right. The right steering uh, lock or steering. Degree angle for a particular car. Uh, I changed it because I didn't like the steering lock for the Formula 1500 cars. It was way too small. It was like 360 degrees. The sensitivity was all... It was too sensitive. It was really hard to drive it, especially at higher speeds. Okay, I'm gaining now time over the second. Obviously, my braking is very conservative in some of those corners. I'm braking way too early just because I don't know the braking points. It's very spontaneous. You know, I pick up a car, pick up a race, and I drive. I don't uh, practice beforehand. Don't have time for that. I remember I messed up uh, the next braking. I barely stayed on the racetrack. So hopefully I'll be braking. I'll do it better this time and I'll negotiate the whole corner better. Definitely better than the last time. Now I think that wall after that first left hander a new addition to them all. I think in the previous years that wall wasn't that close but I may be wrong I think that's what I remember there's uh, Porsche curves they look a bit different on the motor truck than uh, even 10 years ago I think Okay, and that's another race cleared. And I think that will be all for now, because uh, there's Formula 1 race coming. So... So that's it. Let's see what's next. Uh, I won't be doing it now, I'm doing it later, but we have, that's what I'm keeping as the last one. That's the best track that the game has. And um, yeah, I want to do it as the last one. And as a coronation of the whole series, I probably will do Tokyo. I don't know that the racetrack did well, so I want to clear it. And 
that's another truck I don't know that well but we have one two three three real real world race truck so I'll clear the fantasy truck first and then I'll do the real world race truck and then I will finalize it with the Nürburgring. ring but for now I uh, thank you all for watching and I wish you a great uh, afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are, whenever you're watching that. See you next time.